why is camera gear so expensive? From the cameras themselves to the lenses, you'd think it should be less than a thousand dollars, but it can easily climb into the thousands or the tens of thousands. But why is that? And is there a way we can get into cameras without spending that much money? There are three main reasons why camera gear is so expensive. Let's compare this for instance to smartphones. For everything this iPhone 16 does, it doesn't cost that much money. All this camera does is shoot photos and videos, and this setup right here is four to five thousand dollars. There are three main reasons for this. Number one, the audience is more specific. So if you're looking at a graph that answers the question, how broad is the audience with money on the y-axis and the specificity of the target audience on the x-axis, the more broad the audience that the product applies to, the cheaper it's going to be. Let's take the iPhone, right? Very broad. A lot of people use it. Then you have like cheap cameras, a few hundred dollars, people that are interested in photography but don't know a lot. They just keep the kit lens on there. That's the second biggest group. Next, we have prosumers, as we call them. That's probably closer to what I am, as, at least in terms of spending. This can get into the thousands of dollars, and it's the third biggest audience. Finally, you have the crazy professionals, the ones that maybe shoot Hollywood films, all that stuff, and those cameras are tens of thousands of dollars, if not more. But that target audience is really small. So if a business wants to make money and their audience is really small, they have to charge more. So that's kind of the first more broad reason why camera gear is so expensive because as you diversify into gear you're becoming a more specialized group therefore there's less of you buying the product the prices need to be higher number two how replaceable is the object so let's think about this in terms of durability if a product lasts a really long time like sony cameras or canon cameras or most cameras that you buy they're probably going to have a premium attached to that if you compare it to a disposable camera for instance this is pretty simple and the graph is generally going to follow the same lines right the price here how durable is here the more durable it is the more the price is going to go up because it's going to get replaced less number three and this is actually really really important maybe the most important point how often do they make new models a lot of camera manufacturers are making new cameras at least every couple years maybe it's a little slower than that now but they're shouting them out pretty quickly compare that to the iphone where there's basically a new one every year or android phones where there's more than a new one every year people are buying new ones when their old ones aren't even broken so it doesn't matter that the old ones are really durable because there's a new flashy one one coming out. Cameras don't come out as quickly. They need more new innovation to entice people than smartphones do, right? Most smartphone upgrades don't actually improve that many things at all, even if they try to convince you that they do. But let's take that down further to the lenses. Lenses, they make even less frequently than the cameras themselves. If you think about a good 16 to 35 wide angle Sony lens, they're not making those every year. They're not making those every couple years. Most lenses are designed to last a really long time, which is why if you put a really crappy lens on a amazing camera, it's still going to look horrible. The lens is more important than the camera. And the more specialized you get, the more you realize these things, the more money you're probably going to spend because you are becoming part of a shrinking audience size. But another reason cameras might be really expensive is because the more you're paying for it, the more you're looking at it as an investment. If you get a cheap one, you're just doing it for fun. You're not necessarily trying to make money out of it. But if you're spending 40K plus on a camera, you're only doing that because you can make money out of it. If you're not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Even if money makes isn't the goal, it's still probably going to happen. If you do it to make really cool movies and a lot of people end up watching them, you'll probably still make money out of it anyways. So that's why camera gear is so expensive. It makes sense when you look at it through these three different ways. But can you actually get into cameras and maybe making some money out of them without spending a ridiculous amount of money? Of course you can. The competition is pretty crazy these days. And not only that, but a lot of the cameras that were made five, ten years ago are still incredible. So buying used is the way to go. With lenses, those are always going to be really expensive. They don't really really drop in value, but the perfect thing you can do is either rent for $30 for a weekend, which I did for a couple years, or you can just sell your old lens and buy a new one. Most of the time you're getting pretty close to what you bought the lens for, especially if you bought it used, and you're getting a new lens for almost no extra money a lot of the time, or only a little bit. That $3,000 lens purchase won't seem like that much when you're trading up from a $500 lens to a $1,000 lens to a $1,500 lens to a $2,000 lens, and then when you get the $3,000 finally in years, it really only feels like you're spending a thousand because you already had the rest of that money invested in a lens that didn't really lose value. So that's how you can get into cameras for cheaper. Look at all the different websites too, not just Amazon. Also look at Adorama, b &H, all that stuff. And sometimes your local photography shops can have really good deals. So don't neglect those guys. If you learned something, all I ask is that you subscribe if you want to see more. The more involved you are in this process, the more you can determine what kind of videos you want to see. And uh, hopefully I can help you out in the future too. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.